Take a look around. It's easy to see the incredible growth that Kenya has experienced over the years. That growth has everything to do with you. Cent by cent and shilling by shilling, you have played an integral part of Kenya's incredible development. From education, to healthcare, to security, and infrastructure. It is you that makes a difference. And there is one body that has been with you every step of the way, the Kenya Revenue Authority. Take a look at some of the numbers. During the 2014-2015 fiscal year alone, 17.8 billion shillings has been given for ICT devices in schools. 1 billion for school funding and more than 4 billion shillings to improve maternity health care alone. And even though we're aware that we pay taxes, it's however important to understand why we pay taxes. The Kenya Revenue Authority recently unveiled its sixth corporate plan during Taxpayers Month and it was an ideal time to share some important insights. The new corporate plan, what you've talked about, trust through facilitation, actually deliver on the promise of customer service, that this should be a service organization, helping Kenyans, helping them pay their taxes. Why? So that they can build Kenya for themselves. The KRA of yesteryears is gone, and we now have an authority that is open, responsive, and committed to trade facilitation. Indeed, we believe that it is not possible to empower taxpayers in any other manner other than by, by utilizing technology. Moving into the future, the KRA goes hand in hand with you to ensure that the growth is experienced, growth that drives a sense of pride. KRA have formulated a better way of paying taxes. Instead of making long queues, you can just download the app and just by one touch, you can pay your taxes. iTax is a new thing to me, it's still registering in. And also I've learned that these days guys, guys are like embracing the fact of iTax and many schools are coming up for this event. It's really helping the young people. What has been somewhat of a tedious process in the past has transformed in recent years. And as a result, individuals and corporates can now contribute to development with ease. All of us in some way or other need to pay tax if we want to exist as a people with law and order and grow and develop ourselves and our nation. Royal Media Services is home to some of Kenya's most listened to and watched radio and television stations. We feel very honored indeed that uh, KRA has recognized us as one of the large taxpayers. Some other corporates that were highlighted for their tax compliancy during Taxpayers Month included the Standard Group, Clearing and Forwarding Company for Law Africa Logistics Kenya Limited and Runda Water Limited. Today's visit um, was an outreach program where we are doing engagement. We are moving from uh, one taxpayer to another to just appreciate them and tell them thank you for the last one year for having been paying their taxes and for having been very compliant and very cooperative. KRA is also recognizing our commitment uh, to comply with the uh, tax obligations. As a media house, we do pay mm. our taxes. We believe that it's our corporate uh, social responsibility to pay our taxes on time and to pay the correct tax as is required by the law. KRA is on the trend to change. Their own uh, uh, mission is to change from becoming an enforcer to service delivery. There was also the opportunity to discuss tax compliance at the annual tax summit. 
It was here that the Kenya Revenue Authority, industry leaders and the members of Kenya's private sector got together to deliberate on ways to improve tax administration in Kenya as a way to support national development. And it was quite a turnout indeed. We have to have laws that support Kenya's objective because Kenya has an objective to become the regional player. We cannot have country laws that then, uh, including tax laws, that negate that policy objective. The paradigm shift that has to happen is to change the, the payment of tax from being a source of a pain to being possibly the source of pleasure. Why should you eat if you have not worked? Is a question we are asked by our parents. All of us, we are ending up with a very bad result. And because I think stakeholders, let us define a Kenyan stakeholder as somebody who pays taxes. The point at which the governed interact with the government is actually through taxation. And that's where we, we, we interact through the, the acquisition of licenses and permits and so on. Like for example, the Swedish tax agency as a very friendly organization. It helps to pay, to pay for you when you're unemployed. It pays for your education, your medical care. And when you grow old as I am growing, you also know that the new taxpayers will pay your pension. So tax becomes a way of social collaboration between the citizens, on the one hand, through the intervention of the state. This shortfall we have of half a trillion tells us as Kenyans that we have as a family, there are members of our family who are not pulling their weight and contributing to the kitty. And who are these? And I think that uh, the purpose of this summit today is to encourage, especially the informal economy. And I am so excited because you've implemented a tax amnesty for rent, for instance. The four R's are what is the main purpose for tax, and it is the four R's. One, revenue collection so that you can pay for security police army so that you can pay for health education so that's the first one revenue the second one the second r is redistribution there are always more uh, members of society who are not able to fend for themselves whether it's the poor the disabled so in essentially what you're doing is you're redistributing the wealth you're collecting a higher proportion of wealth from wealthier people wealthier companies and ensuring that it's a safety net for those who are not as able the other one is repricing this is where you want to discourage or encourage certain types of behavior for example we don't want to have big cars big guzzlers that are using a lot of fuel, which is imported, which is used in foreign exchange that comes from our flowers or from our coffee, or sometimes people are polluting the environment, um, so you want to discourage that. Or you want to encourage a certain type of behavior. You have low taxes on uh, you know, fuel efficient cars, you have low taxes on people using solar for heating, So, or you're having high taxes on smoking, on very high level spirits, on alcohol, because you're repricing so that you can encourage or discourage types of behavior. The last R is representation. There is no taxation without representation. So really, if you're paying taxes, then I'm going to hold the government accountable on the use of those taxes. And that last R is that representation. Football club Ushuru FC plays in the Kenya Premier League. The KRA sponsor team loves to give back to the community. Our team is comprised of uh, young, uh, young men and uh, I'm sure they, they can mentor the youth here and uh, any other part of the country. So that is why basically we are here and we are going to travel to all the other regions so that uh, we can be able to do the same as what we are doing here today. And here, roughly 400 kilometers southeast of Nairobi, is Taita Taveta County. The semi-arid lowland areas of the county that do not belong to national parks are divided among ranches, estates, and wildlife sanctuaries. But once a year, the focus turns to long distance running. For the chairman of the board of directors of the KRA, Mazden Madoka, it's about changing lives. I thought it would be a good thing for me to start the marathon so that we unearth the hidden talent in this particular area. So, for those of you who have done what is required by law and have done it with the intention of improving this great country of ours, the KRA thanks you for your dedication.
I pay my taxes, I build Kenya. I pay my taxes, I build Kenya. I pay my taxes, I build Kenya. The Kenya Revenue Authority. Tulipe Ushuru, Tujitegeme.